I know. Can you just... Oh, hello, this is not a spring chicken. It was just a few days ago where we were out at the beach and it was sunny and running around. Well, I guess winter has, shall we say, set in. It's dropped and it's... Well, as you can see, it's cold and wet and rainy it, it, and it dirty and yucky. Cold out there. It is raining so we're not out of the car. Yeah, and Obama hits Republicans on Wall Street in populist speech. Well, the problem is... Okay, I love this. I heard this. I listened to one of the Democrats last night. I actually... Oh, Talking about, you know, it would have really been nice if he'd made a speech from a Republican that actually won that election. Mm -hmm. Instead, he picked a Republican that didn't win, that was trying to win re-election, that wasn't actually a Republican at the time. He was the head of the Bull Moose Party. Are you serious? So he was not a Republican when he made that speech. He was a, he was the head of the anti-Republican, anti-Democratic anti Bull Moose Party. They were a bit socialist, so. And Massachusetts to allow access to Romney files. Yeah, all the stuff that they've been trying to bury. Well, Romney, okay, here's the problem is, if you're a successful businessman in life, you tend to step on other people's toes. And Romney has been, Romney basically bent a lot of rules to get Olympics done. He bent a lot of rules to help an automobile company survive. And so he made lots and lots of enemies, but more than likely a lot of union people he made enemies of. So. Oh, really? Well, now that's the part. And, and remember, they're trying to put out the fact that well, Romney only served one term as governor because even they didn't like him. Oh, he did? That's right. Oh, and Olympus sets a panel to pursue scandals of wrongdoers in report. Oh, yeah, they're, they're using, they're, they've got the, the foxes doing the investigation. The people that should have reported there was a problem in the money that never did are now conducting the invest so you know where the, well, the problem is it's a it's a, a thing that they're all the japanese government officials are tied into so you think there's going to be a really good investigation an faa chief resigns of a drunken driving charge well yeah you know, that's something you know and they they, they they just don't even, you know they expect other people to obey rules and then they don't obey the rules that they set down for others and anti-Wall Street protesters turn into foreclosures. Well, yeah, they're going to occupy foreclosed uh, uh, facilities and take them as their own now. Uh, and they're going to be helped, they said, by SEIU is going to help them seize foreclosures for the people, which will basically result in more, uh, you know, the more of the stuff they do to piss off people that are running businesses, the more likely they are to get heads busted. But they're, they're going to disrupt the Democratic National Convention. That is a gimme, folks. Last time the Democrats pulled this, they disrupted the election like you would not believe. Exclusive Fiat Chrysler CEO pins hopes on 2013 success. They don't have a chance. I mean, the, I, I, I mean, I don't know anybody that would buy a Fiat, pure and simple. And they're 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 crappy looking the lotto bills, and they're made for Italy. I mean, they're perfect in Europe, but in this country, I mean. Um, even in this country, they've re-engineered the, the Mini Cooper to make it bigger because it, they thought it was too small for our bigger vehicles. And no matter what, Obama is not going to get any of his legislation through making the O and the Super O. A music exec still critical after Hollywood shooting. I know, you know, had a uh, gang. I mean, basically, it was somebody who was upset. I love this. Well, she left me, so I got upset, and they going to go shoot people. And they said, well, that if if... The gun laws weren't as uh, you know as um, lenient as they are. Well, the guy bought his the guy is former police officer. He kept his police revolver. So blame it on the police department for not taking a gun back, folks. Not on lenient laws. Oh. Well, the trick was they said here's the way it works. If you own your, all the officers own their own bullets, yeah. and some of the officers buy their own guns. So what it was, he turned over the weapon. That, that they gave him, but he kept the weapon that was registered that he was using. So the, the police department is at fault, not the system. Oh, interesting. Um, South Korea, one dead after Chinese captain stabs officers. I, I mean, uh, okay. They, they have a high death, uh, I mean, they really have a, uh, a high rate in, in militaries around the world of people going loony. And it's generally almost people in authority positions, and very seldom ever the people down the food chain oh, that really? cause a problem. Yep. Well, because the well, okay. My father used to refer to them as, as little tin gods. When something goes the, away, they don't want it to go. They snap. Uh, okay. Actually, it goes back to. Um, well, here's a line. I worked on a movie called Vera Cruz about people. I had I mentioned people like that. Gary Cooper said, you know that they, they don't don't worry. 
He said, because when I was a child, I had a little tin soldier just like this little tin god. And I lost my little tin soldier who became a tin god and he's now here. Welcome home. <laughs> I, I, I always loved that line because the writer of the writer of Veracruz had been in the military and an enlisted man. <laughs> he didn't think much of officers with God complexes. And architects apologize for 9/11 blast look-alike design. I know what idiot would do something like that. I know what would, but I mean, why <laughs> would you do it? Apparently, somebody did. No, basically, okay. It's a left-wing liberal that was trying to make a point. And what happens is you make a point and you're not going to get any more commissions from people. You put yourself out of business because it's like most, most people on the left don't understand. If you don't make money, you don't stay in business. So when they go against, you know, well, we're going to do this because it has to be done. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And loads to pull ads from reality show about Muslims. Oh, you got to love this well, because... Why in the world did okay, they do that in the first place? Because Lowell's basically can't... They, they can't afford to have public backlash. Okay, what it was, which is what I saw it was, it's nothing but a multi-week propaganda thing for the Muslim religion. That, you know... I, here's... I love this one of these things. You know, that bunch of Jews there, wait till they find out, you know, that I'm going to get in their face. Mm -hmm. That's basically not how they do things in this country, folks. I mean, I do not see a lot of black people walk up to a whole bunch of white people on the street and say, you know, I'm going to get in your face, Whitey. Well, mm. that doesn't happen, but Muslims can do that. But they said they, uh, they couldn't, they have a limited advertising budget. They cannot afford to be involved with anything controversial, but to make it even worse, they want to, they're wanting to create legislation to force companies to sponsor to put sponsorship money into controversial topics. Are they going to take their business licenses away from them? What? Yeah, nothing like uh, you know controlling. Are you serious? Yeah, they they they're wanting to put legislation forth to absolutely do that to force all businesses to set aside X amount of their advertising budget to publicize controversial uh, efforts in this country. It's hey, not going to happen. Hey, bikinis are fall underneath that. Well, only if she's naked. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I know. Well, that could make arrangements. <laughs> that's right. Oh. Iran. Oh, did Mitt Romney make a mistake betting Rick Perry? Oh God, yes. And he, the, the, they said the biggest mistake he made is he's refusing to admit it was a mistake. You know that he he didn't give a second thought that the average person can't pull a hundred dollars out of their wallet, so he pulls ten thousand out to make a statement. God, he's a rich man. He thinks like a rich man. And he doesn't think, you know. I mean, Genrich is a rich man, but Gen Genrich basically looked like a an overblown, you know, like he he he's not passed up many meals like the average American. So, <laughs> um, Iran says it will not return down the drone to the United States. Okay, they said they don't really care about the drone. In reality, they're carrying their. Okay, every protocol fell on that thing, which means it didn't fail. It means they probably the. My guess is the Pakistanis gave them one of the drones because they don't like the United States anymore. Okay, they have a protocol. If it doesn't respond to you know commands, just to return to base. If it doesn't respond to commands to uh, you know to do its mission, it is returned to base. If it doesn't respond to any commands, just to self-destruct. If it doesn't self-destruct, it is immediately to shut down. Well, and guess it, what? It, if it, it didn't do any of those things... Then it was never in the air, folks. And that's how it was. They just probably went to the base. They were pissed off at Obama, went to a military base, picked it up off the base, and shipped it over to the... Remember, uh, Iran only sets about 140 miles from the capital of Pakistan. Oh, okay. it's, it's their neighbor, so... That may have more to do with it. Yeah, before, what could have been, they could have put it on a truck, or on anything, or on a on a big cargo plane, it would have been in Iran before the United States even missed it, so. And blasts across Afghanistan target Shiites, 59 dead. Yeah, those are the, yeah, those are the people that are the, um, the, um, the Iranian types. They're trying to get rid of them in Afghanistan. Oh, really? It means the Taliban is basically taking charge again. And you leaders agree fiscal pact give up on treaty change. I know, which means they, they agreed on they agreed that they're going to have a summit to talk about agreement, but 19 of the 24 UO nations have to get approval from their governments, and that's not going to happen. Oh, really? Yeah. No, but just just basically, we had to stop the we had to stop the bleeding. Well, today the the United States the you know they they couldn't fudge on the stock market any longer with the world collapsing for a week, 
now our market is going backwards because there's been no there's been no uh, you know move forward on any of the things that are, we're going to talk we'll have it done before Christmas really? yeah. and MF global um, global's Corzine I did not intend to break rules that's what the Democrats always say after they've broken the rules well yeah, it wasn't right. intentional that's when they, they ask for forgiveness well this right? is what the guy that basically got caught taking the the ped you know uh, said well if it was a false reading, somebody must have given me something. <laughs> and a Monty Bumbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. And if you beat up on one another in your party in the primaries, expect all that has been learned by the opposition to be used against you in the election. Mm -hmm. That's Ronald Reagan's 13th commandment. Do not attack thy own. <laughs> <laughs>